Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 17 and 18. I did not do a vlog yesterday because I was too busy having fun for my surprise 30th birthday. My husband did a great job of planning everything. I had so much fun. We went to the Chinese Lantern Festival and there were just these beautiful lights everywhere. I was so glad to be there with my friends. To be honest, when we first pulled up, there was no sign for it, so I still didn't know what it was. And I was like, what are we doing? But I'm excited. It looks cool because I could see a little bit of the lights from the outside when we're driving towards it. But I was still like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm just so lucky to have great friends and a husband to plan things like this for me and spend time with me and have fun. You guys will see it all in the vlog that I post if I haven't already posted it by this video. But um, since there was no video yesterday, I'll go ahead and post both 17 and 18 today. And we're gonna go ahead and get into some advent calendars and see what we find. And a little bit later, I am gonna be going out Christmas caroling and eating Christmas cookies with my friend Sarah and Nick. Let's go ahead and get started. Yay! You know what that is? So I am back with Infinitely Fruity. It's something I've not tried before. I did get Bianco Piccolo as well, but I'm not gonna drink both of those because these coffees are quite strong and I'm gonna try to be like <laughs> bouncing off the walls, just like frazzled before I go and do some caroling later today with my friend. I'm just, I'm gonna keep it low profile today and just a little bit more chill since yesterday was so like, it was fun, but it was chaotic, and we were just like, so much stuff happening and stimulation everywhere. So I think I just want to stick with one cup of coffee. When I do Bianco Piccolo, I'll let you guys know, but I wanted to try something just completely different. The Infinite Leaf Rooney sounds good to me. And I think we should go ahead and try it. And right off the bat, I am getting fruit notes, which is insane. I could smell it brewing, and I was like, wow, that's actually quite strong. And I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit like the hazelnut, where it's just like, bam! I'm getting a lot of fruit notes. It's almost kind of jam-like, if I'm being honest. I didn't put any sugar or milk in there. I am going to add a little bit a little bit later, but I wanted to get the full experience without that. And it is strong, too, and it does taste very good. It has that aftertaste jam or a Christmas feel to it. I did not look it up, though, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> While I drink that, I'm going to add milk and sugar off screen, though, and have like a little latte. but. With that, I am gonna open day 17 and 18, because every Sunday is a candle. But let's go ahead and see what 17 is. What do you think it is? Oh, this is a hair mask. That's awesome. Keratin and argan oil recovery hair mask, which I feel like I really need. My hair gets seriously dry on the ends and a little bit frizzy, and I feel like this is really gonna help and just overall make my hair feel nourished and just revitalized, so I cannot wait to try this. This is gonna be awesome, so I'm excited about that. I will let you guys know. I will let you guys know. I'm just so excited I'm like dropping things, but I will let you guys know how that goes and what I think it did for my hair, and you know I always keep you guys updated. So. Now, if I'm wrong about day 18, there's just no way I'm wrong. And once again, Sunday candle, precious amber, and I can already smell that. Oh, I don't like that one bit. I mean, it's like, oh, it's too strong for me. I don't like that. It's too, oh. And I forgot. I can't believe I forgot to smell this hair mask. Maybe this will redeem my gifts. 
Oh yeah, that redeems it. That smells really good. I'm gonna go caroling later and have a great time with my friends. I can't wait to have the Christmas cookies and sing off pitch. But I think that's about it for all the advent calendars. Hey guys, I am back from the cookies and caroling with my neighbors slash friends there on Nick and we had so much fun. There's so many different cookies, we sang a lot of carols, and it was a little bit chilly outside, but we had fun. And now that I'm back, I just want to say that I finally received my glue gun from Mr. Pan, and it came with the mustache sticker as well, but I think it's time for us to try at least one, just one, just see how it goes, one ornament, and see if I can redeem myself after the mess from before. So I got my little ornaments here, and I am gonna wrap some um, ribbon around it and make it nice and pretty. Oh, this polar bear is so cute. I think we'll do the polar bear. We're gonna try the polar bear in the tree. Last time I tried to fit two things in here, it did not fit. So I think these might be small enough. I wanted to do the bear. Maybe I could just hot glue half of him like this. Look at this, this is going so much better than before. Whatever happened last time, we will never speak of it again. This is way better already, so. Oh, we could cover the scene like this. Let's do that. This is a little bit wonky here, but that, I'm not gonna complain with that. This is pretty cute, but I might wanna place something on top, like a little bell. I'm thinking something like this. Let's, maybe not. I don't know why, I just really wanna put a wreath. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I've redeemed myself. There we go. Oh, that's so cute! I'm so much happier with that than I was the last one. The little snake snow in there, you have the polar bear, the Christmas tree, you have the wreath. Everything is as it should be. This is a, just adorable. It's handmade. You can't beat that, like, for a little, a little Christmas party favor or a gift. It's handmade. Like, I do think that that's just cute. We are finished with one, one down, just 70 billion more to go. So I'm gonna stop talking and just go through it. So I still have to make a lot more of these, but even though the inside is a little bit crooked, like 
these would actually seem like a gift now instead of just like, hey, a piece of junk. Like it actually looks really cute and put together. And this is something simple you can do in terms of a craft. Just make sure you have a glue gun and not tacky glue or else it's gonna go wrong. A little bit of ribbon, some fake snow, and you've got yourself an ornament. Number two, you have Santa and you have a little teddy in there by the Christmas tree. The little bell on top is really cute. Number three is Santa with his floating gifts. This one's a little bit wonky, but it's still cute. You can see there's a little gift on top. And it's just something fun to do and to make. So I think all in all, this is a success. People can choose between which wonky one they want, but I mean, it's a handmade and it is really cute. So I'm happy with how these are coming out. I'll make some more at some other time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me actually redeem myself with my Christmas ornaments because last time was a travesty and this time it actually came out good. So fingers crossed it will continue to come out good as I make the rest of them. But thank you so much for watching my video today. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to make more videos. Bye guys!